And we're out. It's 3.30 in the morning. And I've arrived in Khartoum. Ow! Hi, how are you? I'm Ibrahim. Welcome to Sudan. And uh, I will be your guide here. Thank you. Kefalik. Tamam. 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 Not Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> Our first day in Khartoum, starting at 1 o'clock, there's going to be some protests. Another wave of mass protests in the Sudanese capital, Khartoum. On Thursday, thousands took to the streets to express their anger against the military. Right now there are some protests happening outside. I was in my room. I was told not to go out onto the balcony. And now I'm hearing some noises, not bombs, but what are those like explosions coming? Tear gases or sound bombs. Sound bombs, okay. From the room it sounds a little scary. It sounds even here that I jump when it's a loud one. Uh -huh. But otherwise, no. Even standing next to the door, we could get in trouble with the police. It's not about being unsafe, it's about the police seeing me and possibly throwing tear gas because they don't know what I'm doing there. They think maybe I'm a, I'm a protester on the balcony, the hotel, has been here forever, so I trust them. So here I am, back in my lovely room. It is 7.30 p.m. and it's hard to believe that just two hours ago there were loud protests and sound bombs and tear gas and everything going on just right out here. And now it's, it's like a ghost town, nothing's happening. Safe to go, I'm gonna go get some Lebanese food. Total ghost town at 7.45 p.m. This is actually the nicest main street. That's the main bank, and that's what you got on the, on the street. Very interesting. And away we go. Are we picking up 10 other people? No. Is this the newest building in town? Yeah, it's built by the government of Libya. Libya? Yeah. And that's a hotel? A little bit nicer than the Acropole. <laughs> this is where they do the cleaning. Yeah, yeah, they do the cleaning for the fish. So you buy the fish over there, uh, and then you just come over here and they chop it up. Will they take the bones off it if you want? Yes, if you want. They can make a fillet. Yeah. These are the gills from the fish yes. that he's striping off. Okay, that's why we have so many on the floor. There are fish bits flying everywhere. Fish bits. What do they use it for? They reuse it for, for hunting the fish again. Oh yeah, for bait. Yeah. Can anyone take this as bait? You gotta pay for the bait. Yeah. Okay, you gotta pay for everything. Yeah. If I were to slip a piece of bait in my pocket, would anyone know? <laughs> no. <laughs> you would know because I would smell all day. <laughs> Welcome to Sudan. Shukran. Thank you, Leto. My name is Philip. Philip. Oh, Philip. Philip. You are Abbas. Abbas Mohammed. Abbas Mohammed. I'm from America. Oh, California. To, uh, California. Yeah. Do you like America? Like America. Good? Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Joe Biden? Yeah, Biden good. Joe Biden good? Uh, uh, Biden's old going. Uh, a little old, but <laughs> Trump? What about Trump? Trump. Yeah. Don't like Trump. Yeah, Trump. <laughs> yeah. I, agree. I, agree. I don't like to get into politics though on my, on my YouTube channel. Mashallah. <laughs> Mashallah Allah. This is the main market in the, the city? Market, yes. Okay. Everyone se seems to be here selling stuff, so let's yes. take a look. Salam alaikum. Is it real gold or gold from China? Iowa. Gold from China. These are the biggest dates I've ever seen. This is the season because uh, Ramadan is coming, so the people sell. Everyone wants dates for Ramadan. Yes, one start your breakfast by uh, eating dates. And yogurt. Yeah. And juice. Yes, juice. I remember. <laughs> so you have to have them with peanuts, they're better? Yeah. Okay. Down the hatch. Peanuts in. And it's good because it's sweet and salty at the same time. Yeah. Delicious. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Shukran. Shukran. Wow, that's really good. Shizmak. Hassan. Hassan. How are you? Philip, how's business?
Very bad on Friday. Or all the time. All the time? Maybe you need to sell phones. You can live without bras. You cannot live without a phone. You can live without a phone. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. This is for men. Yes, for men. Yes. Do you have one? Uh, yes. Several? Yeah. <laughs> I have one too. Okay. I got it in Saudi Arabia. Oh, uh, but this is different here. In Saudi Arabia, it is tight, but here it should be very white and cool because the weather is very hot here. Well, it's pretty hot in Saudi Arabia too. <laughs> no, but they have air condition here. We don't have. <laughs> But in Saudi Arabia, they call it a thobe? Yeah. Okay, and here it's called? Uh, Jalabiya. Jalabiya. Yeah. You can see it's very, very lightweight, because how hot does it get here? 50. 50 degrees. That's when you just don't leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of my beaker? <laughs> Great. <laughs> he has a Gambian shirt right now. Now he needs a Sudanese shirt. Can you make for beaker? Uh, yes. Yes? We have mint and lemon right next to each other. I had this in juice last night. It was so delicious. I wish the camera could make you smell how good this mint is. Little piece right here. Mmm. I love America. I love Sudan. Welcome. How are you? Shukran, Habibi. Shukran. What was this called again? Kisra, Kisra. Kisra. Yeah. It looks a little bit like Ethiopian injera. Yeah, it's a little bit like injera, yeah, not as strong. Okay, so it's yogurt, but it looks like there's some sort of chili. Uh, okra. Okra. Yeah. Okra. So this is all locally made pots and pans for cooking in the kitchen. She's banging it to, to hear a certain sound to so, make sure yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah. What sound is good? What sound is bad? So that's low. That that means it's good. And this is how they smoke the bride. So they dig in the in the ground. They okay. Make a hole in the ground. The woman sit naked, covered by the blanket, and the smoke come out for cleaning the body and make the make it soft. Baby making skin. Yeah. And the groom really likes that smell. Yes. We are going to visit the market for uh, animals. Excellent. Vegan, bear. We're gonna see bears. Yeah. Bears. bears. No bears. No. No. <laughs> Nice birds. Six dollars for two or three dollars for one? I'll take ten. <laughs> Salam alaikum. So cute doggies. How much are the dog? Twenty dollars for dog? Don't let him sell you for that. You're worth more. Sure, why are they so cheap? Nobody likes dogs here. Yeah. That explains it. Yeah. Supply and demand. Would you like some falafel? In Egypt it's falafel. Here it is Tamiya. Yeah. Tamiya, Tamiya. Yes. Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya. Get you Tamiya. You want some Tamiya? Yeah. Tamiya. No. No? He makes the best Tamiya. You want to buy some Tamiya for me? Yeah, I would buy for you. I have to try? It is a minimum thing. So I was just kidding. I was saying, hey, get your Tamiya here and you're, you're going to buy me some. Yeah, I will buy for you Tamiya. I will buy you everything. Hey, Mohammed, don't you know, buy me everything. Talk. You are welcome even you can stay in my house. I'm very serious. You're a good man. Thank you very much. That was uh, unexpected and very, very kind. Sudanese hospitality at its best. No, Shukran. No, 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 no. Ciao. Delicious. Super fresh. Mm. Sudanese massage. Is that your boy? Good son. <laughs> yeah, man. Snap. So we're about to see the confluence of the white and the blue Nile. The blue Nile from Ethiopia, the white Nile from Uganda, and right here in Khartoum is the only place you can see the connection in the world. Here we go. White Nile, blue Nile, Confluence.
Right here, baby. Khartoum, Sudan. Yalla. This is in amazing shape for, we're talking 3,500 years old. Yeah. Incredible. Every Friday night at sunset, Umdurman Sudan comes alive with the joyful singing and chanting of Sufi Muslims. They gather outside the tomb of their beloved Sheikh Hamid al Neil to perform dikr, repetitively chanting La il aha il Allah. There is no God but Allah. It starts slowly but quickly whips into a frenzy. So we're getting closer, you can hear some drums, there are people selling all sorts of religious paraphernalia here.
Yeah! Allah! Allah! Woohoo! Salam alaikum. Bye bye. Did you know that Sudan has more pyramids than Egypt? Join me for a sneak preview of my epic Sudanese adventure where I explore these incredible ancient structures up close. Oh my god, this is so cool. Ah! Ah! Habibi! Amazing! Ah, oh, so good! Come on! I loved it! It's full! Oh, here we go, making it fresh. So we have beans, it looks like salt, and chili, and what's that other one? Mint. Mint. It's so good, it's got lime, a little bit of chili, fresh beans, fresh bread, nothing like it. Are you saying you're full of fool? I love you, America. I love Sudan. I love you. I love you, America. <laughs> America, good, very good. What do you love about America? Uh, America, good, very good. Why is it very good? Very I love good. you, America. I think I got the America, point. America, good, very good. I love you, America. I love you, Biden. America, good, very good. I love you, Sudan. Thank you. I love you, Sudan. Thank you. What the heck is going on here? Mashallah. Incredible sunset. Incredible Sudan. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and to see more from Sudan, click here. Here.